Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, I got a really short concept on what Alibaba is trying to do in the AI world. So before we actually get into that, please like, subscribe and comment down below what it, whatever you want to see guys. I have a lot of content. So if you guys haven't seen a lot of these things, definitely do. And with that thought, let's get right into it. So basically Alibaba is basically trying to roll out with its revival to chat GPT across all of its products. And basically this was released today but they had this plan going on for a couple of months and i believe the group is trying to like make its own version of a generative ai model that powers chat gpt and i cannot really pronounce it because it's really hard to pronounce and i don't want to offend anyone but this is the name of the actual product and basically they have announced it that it will be integrated into all the company's apps in the near future and this is just like a rough map or like a rough sketch of what they're trying to do they have so many different applications which in which this ai app will be in integrated into and it will basically further expand the company's reach in the near future with all of its products and helping it generate ai concepts as well as getting a better like generative response from an ai chat box now this announcement comes after the launch of several new ai project like products by sense time which is another company earlier this week and during a film demonstration the actual product was shown to be capable of drafting invitation letters planning trips itineraries it was also like showing people on how to actually it was like basically giving better advice to shoppers on the types of makeup on the purchase and this is this is something that you can see in this demo video over here and i i know it's in chinese guys so it's gonna be hard but this is just a little demo of what they're trying to do with their website and that's just a small clip of what their platform will look obviously this is beta and in beta access at the moment i mean there's no access at all but it's in beta development so they're still continuously working on it and eventually it'll be integrated into ding talk which is uh, Alibaba's workplace messaging app and it also is where it'll be used to summarize meeting notes write emails draft business proposals and do so much more for their business aspect as well it would also be added to a lot of its uh I would say like its generative like voice assistant applications that Alibaba has and according to Alibaba's CEO Daniel Zhang the technology behind the product will bring about a significant change in the way they actually produce, work, and live their lives, basically in, in the sense of their organization. And it will also push AI in another country, guys, because obviously China has been pushing the concepts of uh, like AI generation, but it's also like giving it to another basic target audience, right? Because it's in another whole country with another language. So it's good to see another ai product like this being used in another country and basically alibaba's cloud unit also plans to make this product available to its clients so that they can also build their own customized large language models so it basically opens up a new gateway for other people to source as well as use this actual product to help them out in their creations on different large language models and now I would say this is going to take some time, guys, for its launch, but it is definitely going to be something that the company is going to continuously work towards actually completing. And the Chinese government was actually publishing draft like rules outlining how generative AI services should be managed in China. So there are some correlations as to what they must do in which it aligns to the law in China. Now, while the government also had said that it supports the innovation as well as the popularization of this technology, content generated must adhere to core socialist values and laws on data security and personal information protection. So that was one great thing that China had done in to like basically protect their own basic like data research as I mean their data security, sorry, as well as their personal in information. So it goes a good way in what they're trying to accomplish and eventually we should be able to see this maybe in the cup coming months we might see more information on it i'll definitely outline as well as give you more details on what happens now in terms of its analysis of its stock i know i i don't do this at all 
but I would highly recommend, not highly recommend, obviously it's not financial advice, but from the recent come downs of the overall market, obviously it is starting to stabilize around this range. And initially today, after the news, it had shot up a little bit. I don't, I believe, I don't know how much it was on Yahoo, they stated, but it shot up a little bit and it was able to gain a lot of momentum in the morning. And it's basically because of this news of their new AI product. Now, eventually, it, I, we don't know what's going to happen, but the earnings coming up. So eventually we might even see a rise up. So with the news of this, as well as it's strong, like performance in the market, should be able to rise up in the coming months and it's something that i've actually have a lot of in my portfolio so this is just another topic uh, like something that's not related to ai but from the basic core concept of what the company is trying to achieve it's in a trajectory of an upwards movement and it should be able to withstand a lot of potential growth in the future so with a continuous growth of these different products that Alibaba continuously works on like AI products as well as its different chat boxes as well as its applications we can see an enhancement of its company's growth as well as its revenues so overall this product will be very revolutionary in China as well as in the United States as well as other places across the world as many people will be able to use it and it might be even helpful for companies to interact with uh, like if there's a language barrier, they'll be able to interact way better in using these applications. And that's just the gist of today's video, guys. I just wanted to outline something cool that Alibaba is trying to do. And if there's more insights on what they're, if they do release any more information, picture, pictures or demos, I'll definitely share it to you guys. And with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be posting a little bit more throughout the day. So I hope you stay tuned to those videos if you like this video please give it a like comment down in the below description below if you want to see anything else and in terms of my coffee page i've actually created a new page which is a way that you can actually support the channel so if you guys really want to do that i'd highly recommend it and it would mean a lot to me guys i would, I would really appreciate it and with that thought guys i'll see you guys next time peace out